In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the update features in version 1.1 of the COG to CNC tool by Kiak Technology Solutions. Here, when I open this up, you're going to see that there's a new option here for specifying the type of marking. Before, we just had pop mark, which would provide one center uh, pop mark on the top flange, the front web, and the bottom uh, flange. But now you can do the pop mark option as well as basically do like a C shape um, that will be done as sort of like a contour marking. Uh, you can either do this as powder or punch um, or do both options, very similar to like what the DSTV settings let you do with contour marking. Um, so these are the additional options that you can choose. So let me just choose C both here. And then also now we have the option to choose which surfaces that we'd like this uh, C shape or the pop marks to be uh, basically assigned to. So by default before it was top, bottom, and uh, front web. So top flange, bottom flange, front web. And now you can also choose to do the back web if you want to, or you could turn top and bottom flange off or the web off, whatever you want to control. Now essentially here, let's just go back to exporting a uh, CNC file. So we'll go to export and C files. Again, I don't have to have pop marks or contour marking on, um, you know, in order to use this tool. This is basically just creating the initial CNC file. So we'll create that. And then that will be created here inside of our model folder. So if I just go to NC files, there's that newly created file. And then all I need to do here is have the part selected, have all of my options chosen here, and then I'll just press the adjust CNC. This will then browse to this specific folder, or I can go to any folder that I want to, but by default it goes into the NC files folder of this model folder. And then now it will have updated basically this CNC file. So again, if I open this with Notepad, we can see here at the bottom that it's actually put in the PU as well as the KO blocks uh, for basically the C-shaped contour. Now let's go ahead and actually take a look at this in the CNC viewer itself. In this video, I'm using the Steel Solutions CNC viewer. And so here I'm gonna go ahead and say add part. I'll import the DSTV. I'll select on that file that's been updated, press open. And then here we're gonna see that it actually draws out and shows the C um, that is on the top flange. And you can see how it's kind of offset here for the center of gravity. There's the C on the front web. And then we have the C also on the, the bottom flange. So this gives you the option to either do pop marks now, or you can do the C shape, which is very clear. So the actual center of gravity itself is right at the vertical line. Um, and then the, just adding the extra flanges um, here or extra lines on the top and bottom just sort of signifies to the field that this is C for center of gravity. If you're interested in purchasing this tool, please reach out to me, Chris Kiak, at Kiak Technology Solutions at the contact information shown on the screen.